Hi, I'm Dr. Bill McLeod. I'm a doctor of chiropractic. I'm about to demonstrate some exercises to strengthen your neck. Most people go through range of motion exercises like this, meaning as far as you can move your neck comfortably. What you do is work it against resistance. So you'd hold your hand there and tip all the way over, push against it, come back, push against it all the way over. Do it both sides, 10 times each. Then go back, do 10 times again, so two sets of 10. We do the same from the front. We tend to go down and back. Resist it with your hands. Resist all the way down. Push up, resist, 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 resist. Come forward, resist, 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 resist. Do 10 of those. Resist all the way. Now go back. All the way back, resist, resist, resist. Resist, 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 all the way down, resist. That does a certain set of muscles. That does the longest coli and some of the trapezius muscles. However, most people don't do this part. We want to move the head and neck laterally to the side, not tipping, sideways. So watch me bring it this way a little bit. Now I'm going to push, 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 not tipping, pushing 10 times this way. Watch me bring my neck a little bit this way. Now I'm going to push but not tip my head. Push, 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 push. This really does your trapezius and the muscles at the bottom of the neck here much better. So once again, full range of motion. Now I'm going to push. Watch how I push. Now I'm going to bring it back a little bit. Put my hands against my cheeks and push, push, push. No bending, no tipping. Pushing, push, 10 of those. Back, not tipping the head. Watch it again, lead a little bit forward, hold, push, 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 almost like you're pulling a chain. Push, like you see these strongmen that pull trucks. Push, strengthens all the way down, all the way up. Now, simpler than that, you have no time to push. We recommend posturally strengthening. Posturally, most of us stand with a slouch. There's my comfortable slouch. Now, if you could imagine taking your finger and pushing your chin back an inch and a half, inch to an inch and a half, watch me push it back that far. I'm still slouched a bit. Now hold that. Okay, watch me stay erect and hold it there. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Walk around like that all day. During the day when you think of it, imagine yourself, okay, I'm going to relax because it's, I don't have the muscle build up. I don't use that much. There's the slouch. Push it back. Inch and a half. That's all you have to do. That will strengthen almost all of those muscles too just by proper posture. That can be done anywhere and the idea is do it several times a day whenever you think of it. Going out to a movie, you're staying in the lineup. You're sitting waiting for it to be served for dinner. That one you can do all the time. Now, we talked about exercising or getting a range of motion in a better, more fluid state. That's where you let your head roll. Some people say this is good for you and some say it's not good for you, but your neck is designed to go through that full range of motion. It's okay, let it come down. Roll very slowly and carefully relaxing, not forcing it, just a wonderful fluid motion. That's a nice wake up in the morning. Uh, hockey players tend to do this before they play hockey. Football players, same thing, they go through the range of motion. So they're nice and fluid and stretched, they don't damage their muscles. So once again, quickly, resistance with the full range of motion, then resistance laterally, no range, no tipping. Then during the day, in the morning when you get up, if you don't want to do exercises, at least go through full range of motion and back. Now everyone will say, how many of each of these should I do? There really is no hard and fast way for anyone to say, you should do two sets of 10 in the morning, two sets of 10 at night. But if you want to build muscle, you have to. The stretching, not so much. If you're active and happy with that, that's okay. 
during the day, I can't tell you how many times you should do this, but I know you should be doing it a lot. I tend to do it in my practice whenever I think of it. Otherwise, I just slouch like everybody else. But that's how you build muscle. To conclude, some of you may want to use weights with these exercises. You may want to use elastic bands that give you more pressure. You may want to use a friend to hold your head and move against it. But we do want you to be aware that if you have neck injury, you could injure it worse. So you might want to consult someone like one of your doctors or someone in the phys ed department before you do these exercises.